So you guys have been uh, uh, hearing TED Talk, serious talks from the morning. So let me introduce myself. My name is George Vivian Paul. I'm a stand-up comic. I'm, I'm a pass out of this college. Thank you. I did my civil engineering from 2007 to 11, right around that class. Uh, my GT was there. Uh, J.M. Paul, sir, and all were here. Awesome guy, J.M. Paul. Uh, bunch of teachers who taught me are still here. I don't want to name them because I don't have really good memories. When I was coming over here, people were telling, tell memories that I had in college. To tell you the truth, I studied here for four years. I don't remember a thing I, I studied here, but the campus was awesome. The people I met, the experience that I had, the stories that I heard changed my life. So today's topic, Edge of Chaos. It resonated with me uh, to more than what I can say, like, uh, first of all, to understand that I had to watch few other TED Talks, like Edge of Chaos. Then once I understood it, it is basically when uh, there is an order and there is chaos, there is a phase between that. You, something that exists in between that, which can take the property of both stability and chaos. So I was born into an army family, second generation army. My mom, uh, that was my father's side, my mom, like some people like to travel, some people like to have food. My mother likes to study. So she has a bunch of degrees, MA, MA, uh, Diploma in Computer, BSc, Chemistry, PhD. Now she's planning on taking uh, MBA. Yani vada B.Tech and I'm gonna chakra shosun gundu thirta na eni ki matra arre avadu. So I'm done, like uh, I had some plans to do some uh, like post graduation like MBA and all after B.Tech. My mother was like, yeah you complete your B.Tech, we'll do our MBA together. I'm like, no. I quit. So my uh, post-graduation uh, dreams ended right there. So, uh, so my uh, birth was in the army family. My mother was like that. And uh, my dad was in the army. So we traveled around the country. We studied in army school, Kendri Vidyalaya, things like that all around the country. In between that, uh, a certain coaching center in Pala somehow caught my mother's attention. <laughs> One fine day, I am coming to Kerala and she say, now you're not going back. Why? You're going to Pala. Like, wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, I reached Pala. Uh, I am staying there in a hostel. Uh, for the first time in my life, I had to tidy up my bed when I wake up. Before that, I had no clue. Because in the hostel, you have to wake up at 6 o'clock. So, this place that I stayed, it was on top of a hill. And there was a church on top of it. The audacity of these people, you know. The church on top of this hill and the confidence, the level of confidence didn't end there. They had a morning mass at 6.30 p.m. And uh, in two years that I stayed in Pala, I came to know that people in Pala don't like trekking, especially early in the morning. So nobody came to the church. Sometimes it was just the father and the altar boy with the uh, mass. So people staying in the hostel, Christian uh, uh, students were uh, made, it was made compulsory that we should attend uh, these masses. So that is how I got the life training of how to sleep when kneeling down. I have never used it, you know, I have, I don't know why I learned that, but I know spectacularly. I don't even fall down, you know, for two hours I can stay like this. And there have been instances where the mass has finished, the people are <laughs> So, uh, in Chavra it was like that, uh, Chavra public school. Anybody from Chavra here? Yeah, my condolences. <laughs> I studied in different schools, the worst was Chavra, trust me. CMI, cash making industry, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, before that, when I used to travel in the bus and all, when I see fathers or sisters and all, I used to get up, offer my seat. I studied in Chavra for two years. When I see a father, I sit like this. No, <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> no. uh, so it, it changed my life. Uh, there, after that, uh, I came to MA college. Now that was a life-changing experience. Like my, we, I have relatives all around uh, this Kodongla. My ancestors had no other job, you know. Bunch of relatives everywhere. <laughs> everywhere I go, I have relatives. 
right now one of my cousin brought me uh, from ernakulam to here they are also like the people from ma college when they called me said uh, we'll be bringing uh, no we'll be sending you a car I like who is sending your cousin like fuck <laughs> 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 some different face come on anyway so uh, ma college even though i had a lot of relatives i did whatever that could have been done uh, you know during that time and in my time ragging was way cooler is ragging uh, happening now no how many people are for ragging you want to be ragged or you want to rag <laughs> ha huh? exactly you should be ragged i am for ragging but not that violent kind of thing but see the entire uh, grooming of everyone like see from before the child reaches 10th like Tenth वाले पढ़ी जाना थी. Tenth का इंजन बिना देना और इसे लिपट तो तिल्ला. Then you reach tenth and then science रहता नहीं सेटन. Okay. Then you take science. Then you go to twelfth. अरे twelfth का इंजन बिना देना और इस दिल्ली में क्या तिल्ला. Twelfth का इंजन. Then engineering or medical or whatever. हाँ. And then you do that. आ नहीं engineering ले पोई का इंजन बिना देना और इसे लिपट तिल्ला. बिना supply वाले उन्ह � and at that time we didn't have the problem that uh, you have to clear every year so like by the time i was third year or fourth year i had like uh, two digit supplies and all i went to one placement cell they said supplies is not an issue so i went and i like, wrote my name and they had a column uh, write the number of supplies they had one box one box i had 16 at that point i went and wrote one and i said ma'am where do i write the at the digit how many do you have like 16 Where do I write six? Please give me a paper. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> so uh, the placement cell and all was comedy at that time. How is it now? Is it satirical right now? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So uh, engineering went like that. We had mass bunking. We did ragging. You know, wali kettle, pidi ke naal karon daulo denga da bachelum. Yenga da class sila kon daru. Chumma. Orra ushila ando wali kettle pidi ke naal karega. like one time we went uh, to scold one girl who was ragging one of our friends sister we were just going and telling her very normally like you should not rag but she like you are ragging right now <laughs> this is ragging <laughs> so no no this is not ragging we are just telling you advising you don't rag otherwise otherwise we'll bash you okay so this is not ra <laughs> ragging no 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 this is not ragging so one guy idino idu ait oru bendu illatha aalu side kodu nadakkuva the picture that he is seeing is that guy that girl the girl uh, whom we went to talk to she is raising her voice at one point he was like enough is enough <coughs> right in front of the uh, principal's office and we were all like dude we just came to talk man where is the girl <laughs> girl swang like two times and fell down <laughs> like okay what do we do with this thing right now <laughs> escape or what after that we came down uh, next day we are going to the hostel they we are seeing like a bunch of ambassador cars and things like that she apparently had some hold uh, she was from a family that had really good hold white and white uh, people are all coming and she uh, we were going to the hostel and that i would have ah njangada kochine kaiyu sar and ivada thalli adine patti choikkan vanna നിങ്ങൾ ഏതാ ഞങ്ങൾ ഡേ സ്കോളർ സാർ ഞങ്ങൾ അപ്പം തന്നെ സ്കൂട്ടായി ഞങ്ങൾ ഇവിടെ വന്ന ചുമ്മാ വന്നത് സോ റാഗിങ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ വാസ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് സോ ആഫ്റ്റർ എം എ കോളേജ് ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് വർക്കിംഗ് ഐ വർക്ക് ഫോർ ഫ്യൂ ഫേംസ് ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ദർ ഐ സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ഓക്കെ ദ വർക്ക് ഇൻ കേരള ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് സോ ഐ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രോജക്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഐ ഡിഡ് വാസ് അഡ്വക്കേറ്റ് ജനറൽസ് ബിൽഡിംഗ് ഇൻ ഹൈക്കോർട്ട് കേരള ഹൈക്കോർട്ട് അഡ്വക്കേറ്റ് ജനറൽസ് ഓഫീസ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ക്രോർ പ്രോജക്ട് Uh, i passed out at 2011 supply ke ediyo na 12 ayi 2012 i'm talking about 2012 i'm going there uh, the superstructure is almost completed i'm going there and uh, that guy uh, the advocate general he has a big ring gold ring so he comes up one day and says if you complete this project in time so there was like one and a half years left uh, if you complete this project in time this Uh, ring will be yours so our boss you know people supervisors said that will be us sir that will be us so 2012 i worked there for like uh, one one year then i went to bangalore kolkata and all uh, left civil engineering 
did random things and then stand up comedy then i came back i just wanted to see what's happening in that building i went there that guy you know that guy was clean shaven in 2012 i go 2019 that guy has this beard full nairachi ysi building ippum panandondirikkana ippum pani thirundittilla advocate ayala thatti poi adutha aalu vannu seriously idu keralathile nadakkuna sambhavana uh so civil engineering and all i was doing uh, finally i worked uh, i was working in bangalore one fine day i completed uh, i was working as a project managing consultancy so i work uh, took the notes in the site and came back sat in my chair i saw i opened up my social media and i uh, see a meme if money did not exist in this world would you go back to your job tomorrow so like no no i quit my job then right then i got up kept my pen and i went i was like the you would no, uh, three months notice pf will not be released experience certificate will not be given i said no i don't want anything i'm leaving so i there was they provided me accommodation there was a uh, vehicle and all uh, hello man and the vibe kedutittilla uh so uh evade <laughs> uh so yeah i packed my things got my bike and uh, got on to the road aa nimishathila yan or the perivali layalo ini endunnu like i had no clue what to do so what i want to explain is till then everything in my life was pretty ordered and pretty pre decided like okay 10th 12th brilliant engineering then work you know ha huh, you know the thing about our parents like they keep forcing us till engineering once you do your engineering or whatever course then they force you to get a job or joli udi kittiya madi pinna aaru selli padutathilla joli kitti kanya onnu ketti kanya pinna set aanu ne ketti kanya pinna oru kochu at that point they stop you know why once you have a child then you become to that cycle 10th class vare padicha madi set aanu arnille so uh, that cycle cut so i reached till the cycle of job from there i thought like okay uh, people have been in my driver seat for quite some time i'm like get down now let me drive from there i did random things like at one point i had only enough money to fill petrol in my bike i had option just to roam around or stay somewhere but if i stayed it would be just two three days if i just filled my petrol and roam around i could last longer i could, i had not told my parents that i had quit my job and all they were like where are you i'm in the office <laughs> i'm riding in the bangalore highway that time so that uh, that phase passed meanwhile i started doing some freelance advertising then i went to kolkata kolkata my mo- mom was there so we went i was there uh, because you know where mom is there there is food f- free food accommodation with wifi uh, you don't get that in bangalore when you're staying alone so i went to kolkata i started a startup company called uh, seedha sadhu it uh, did mass printing of t-shirt and things like that uh, experimented with few things since we got some decent clients senzevias and all from there uh, so i had one major problem like i started studying at uh, delhi uh, my dad was in the army so delhi when i started there i was never a part of that land i was always an outsider avade irikkumbo people the only term that they referred to south indian were madrasis so when i was in delhi i was a madrasi yeah madrasi okay fine no problem then i came to uti i came to uti people started calling me hindi kare because i came from delhi I'm like dude decide first okay hindi kar rahe then at uh, then i started moving to different places and uh, when i was roughly 2003 or uh, 2000s that time i was in uh, siligudi west bengal that area at that time one particular prominent actress from this side made the entire uh, population of kerala to be synonymously known as mallu shakila so she came after that everybody from kerala was known as mallu so in kolkata i was a mallu okay uh, i was like i'm done enough is enough 
wherever i go i am an outsider i need to go back to my own land ende naadu ende aalkare pachappu maridhavu idakka ariyan vendittu i was like ushmalada idakka ariyan vendittu i was like okay i need to pack my bags go back to my own land go back to roots i came back to kerala now people call me bangali like if you throw a stone in kerala it falls either on a bengali or an engineer i am a bengali engineer think about that <laughs> so uh, the crisis of career you know telling these things to your parents is a big thing when you are a stand up comic in kerala you encounter questions like money pa endha paridi stand up comedy ah adallande endha food food ne ke stand up comedy <laughs> you go to venues where you want to do stand up comedy shows first of all stand up comedy are you no okay stand up comedy stand up comedy stand up comedy stand up comedy pie chart graph uh, plotting stand up comedy things stand up comedy vaano stand up comedy vaanda so the people here ah, another thing in kerala if you are saying like you are a comedian the audience sits with the attitude ah oh, comedy kara ke pika hmm para para kya pata kya kata kya kata so people are like uh, you know you have to go into like warm up okay challenge accepted but most of the time audience wins because when you are writing the joke everybody laughs in your head when you come and deliver people just si- sit silently like, what went wrong <laughs> you know you keep thinking that in in the veetil old people and all when they ask me uh, they know something that they he is not doing stand up you know his civil engineering he is doing something related to shows and all my grandmom and all engena povunada adinte kacheri ok at this age you no know, you don't correct them like nannai povunda machi choichalla adu enna velli karyam so in family meetings and all i go there and i'm talking to my relatives uh and you know evade irunnu endakke irunnu paridi ah ingane ke irunnu so i have a small sister uh, so while i was talking so this guy was as ipo endha mone paridi this small sister she is just uh, dancing around she walks bes- uh, hops beside me and she arnille ipo santa claus aanu stand up comedian sc santa claus sc she very naturally so santa claus adak jo alla alla stand up comedy stand up comedy yeah, stand up comedy like you hear shitty jokes from your family why don't you sit down and tell jokes like, please don't try comedy <laughs> people ask me how do i do comedy you know people uh, my pe- family people are not at all funny trust me there are a bunch of relatives here you can check directly <laughs> i am not naming them but yeah uh since then i wrote uh, stories short stories it got published i uh, drew some diagrams and somehow it also got published so it basically i wanted to do anything that i liked which i was restricted or i did not have time while i was doing a co- uh, in contemporary stand means civil engineering job the only shade that you have as a civil engineer when you go to the site is none you really don't have anything when you go it's barren land you go build things the last thing that they fit is a lift in a tall in a high rising building the last thing the by the time you are done supervising that building you might have lost 20 kg people are going to gym tell them to join civil engineering that's way more better uh every day when you wake up means uh, you wake up with the feeling oh i have to go to that job or that site that is not healthy you you should don't you like waking up with a more positive or a happy attitude aspire for that do that do things like very cliche joke means things like do that do things that make you happy and all i am saying do things that makes you sleep with a satisfaction sandriptiyode kadannu urangan pattanam endu cheyuvanengil ravile ezhunekkumbo pradeeshode ezhunekkanam endu cheyuvanengil so i did random things and at this point i am uh, i recently went for uh, a movie um, as an animal trainer assistant to an animal trainer i uh, i am a guest lecturer at kerala media academy i teach pub, uh, public relations yeah i teach okay 
I mean, the children are uh, people who sit in my class are like uh, really confused what kind of. Okay, uh, that is there. I've started my own ad agency called Lorem Ipsum. Apart from that, I've started my travel agency called Wandering Buffalo. So things are happening here and there. It's not flourishing in any one direction. It is blooming in all directions. So I would like to conclude my talk by saying like, do things that makes you sleep with a satisfaction and wake up with an expectation. Thank you. <laughs>